the International Space Station flying over Australia from its south uh, to the north. Welcome to another update from the Force of 13. In this one, we look at Typhoon Kong Y and it's currently located 50 decimal 8 degrees north, 135 decimal 9 degrees east. Maximum sustained winds 95 gusting 115 and movement at 6 knots. Here's the current chart from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center followed by uh, the Japanese Meteorological Agency's uh, current chart of warnings. Joint Typhoon Warning Center has finalized their advisories on uh, Typhoon Trammy. However, Typhoon 30W, 785 nautical miles southeast of Kadena Air Force Base, Okinawa, Japan, tracking west northwest 6 knots, and wave height is 30 feet. Now we have a look at the upper level environment, uh, upper level uh, divergence, it's only around 20 to 30 knots. The wind shear, the red's unfavourable, the green's uh, favourable, yellow neutral. And wind shears a bit of an issue for the uh, Typhoon when you look at where it is, say 50 minutes above vorticity, the tropical systems love the area in blue. Now here's the current position from the uh, JMA on the uh, Typhoon, they have a strong uh, 965 millibars. Now we uh, scroll down the page, having a look at the uh, uh, projections. 950 millibars. Then they have it very strong down to 940. Is it going to become a super tight thing? And then they have it very strong. On the 3rd of October down to 9.35 millibars. And remaining very strong on at the 4th at 9.35 millibars. Now we have a look at the NOAA floaters. Animated enhanced infrared satellite imagery shows convective banding uh, continuing to deepen and wrapping tighter into and completely surrounding a tight centre. Upper and low level analysis indicates the system remains in overall favourable environment with light to moderate 10 to 20 knot northeasterly vertical wind shear offset by excellent radial amp flow, 30 uh, Celsius sea surface temperatures in the Philippine Sea and is tracking along the southwestern periphery with deep layered subtropical ridges to the northeast. There's no change to the JTWC's forecast philosophy and Typhoon 30 will continue to track generally northwest under the influence of the steering ridge and the favourable conditions will persist allowing for further intensification to a peak of 130 knots super typhoon within 36 hours. Now we have a look at various tracks, uh, model 
intensity guidance. After the 36 hours increasing vertical wind shear, diminishing outflow will cause the cyclone to slowly weaken down to 85 knots by the 72 hour mark. Submodel guidance is in tight agreement with minor spreading in the envelope, leading to high confidence to this portion of the sender's track forecast. After 72 hours, Conway 30W will begin to gradually round the western edge of the steering ridge, more poleward, passing approximately 145 nautical miles west of Okinawa shortly after 96 hours. High vertical wind shear by the 120 hour mark. Model guidance is in overall good agreement with the ECMW F on the left and the CTCX on the right margin of the model envelope that quite evenly spreads out to over 300 nautical miles at the 120 hour mark in view of this there is fair confidence in the extended portion of the JT uh, WC track now we have a look at the life of the system. Anti-Foon Trammy really belted uh, mainland Japan. I've actually seen some uh, live streaming from some of the areas. Uh, there's a bit of damage and I think life has been lost, that's to be uh, confirmed. Now we have a look at the Pivotal Weather website. It's the precipitation GFS model and the precipitation values uh, along the bottom of the screen. Force 13 will continue to bring the latest information. Uh, I have uh, an update on how we can raise uh, uh, within uh, five hours and followed, I think, in the morning by Nathan. Total precipitable water, you can see Trammy and Conway. You can follow Force 13's outlets to website force13.com with you at any time. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribed hopefully. And you can also follow our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text. Videos are now there as well. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Force 13 is our handle. And it's hashtag f 13 sulik if you'd like to draw our attention to anything in future live events or whatnot. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron with its various rewards that come with that feature as well. And you can add me personally, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord and Force13 on Skype for Tropical Weather Chat.